Hi everyone, today I want to talk about managing your digital well-being. So this is a term I'm not sure if you've heard, but it's something I feel very strongly about. Just like I believe in mental health awareness, what you see on social media affects your day-to-day -day every day, right? So we get to choose who we follow. You, we get to choose who is connected to us and who sees our content. We get to choose what shows up in our newsfeed and you should act accordingly. So that means muting people and organizations, unfollowing them, maybe blocking someone or deleting someone from your contacts. I make no apologies for doing this and neither should you. It is a form of self-care and it is something you should do periodically to go through your connections, make sure you have a supportive environment and make sure the content that is in your feeds is content you actually want to see. So I think long after the pandemic is over, we should still be social distancing from people, from content, from other things out there that don't suit us anymore. And you are the curator and editor of your social feeds, and so you should act accordingly. So again, no one gets a notification when you've deleted them or unfollowed them. It may be awkward if they actually call you out on it, which I've actually been called out on for having deleted people, and I'm happy to tell them why. So stick to your guns. You own your content. You own what you see, and it is a form of digital self-care. Follow me at the socialmediabutterflyblog.com and on YouTube for more tips.